Hey guys, welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we will be learning about data types in C. More specifically, we will learn about different types of data available and how to use them. So let's get started. In programming, data type specify the type of data that can be stored in variable. Let's look at this example. Here age is a variable and int is the data type of this variable. The data type determines two things. First, the type of the variable. The int type means our variable can only store integer values. Second, the size of the variable. The size of an int variable is usually 4 bytes. That means an int variable can store 2 to the power 32 distinct values. By the way, in C programming, every variable we create must have a data type assigned to it. Now let's see different data types available in C and how we can print these variables. Let me copy a list of data types here in our text editor so that it's a bit easier for us to see what they are used for. Now let's try these data types in our program one by one. We have already discussed this int type variable can only store integer values. That means it allows us to store whole numbers. The number can be zero, positive number, and negative number. Let's see an example. As we have already discussed in our previous video, this is the basic outline of every C program. So I'll continue on this and I'll assign int a is equals to 10. Here you can see I have assigned 10 to our int variable is. Now let's print this using printf function. Printf bracket inside quotation percent d comma name of the variable that is is and end this with a semicolon. Let me run the program. As we can see 10 is printed on the screen. Here percent d is replaced by the value of is variable. And if we want to make our output much more clear and readable, we can add text here like this. And let's run this again. And as you can see, our output is much more readable than before. In C programming, we use either float or double data types for creating variables that can store decimal and exponential values. The only difference between the double and float is the size. The size of float is usually 4 bytes and the size of double is usually 8 bytes. Hence, double can be used to store numbers with more precision. Now let's try to use float and double in our code. We'll start with double type, double number equals to 12.45 here number is a double type variable and we have also assigned a floating point value to this double variable now i will print this number using printf function as before printf bracket inside quotation percent lf comma name of the variable number for a double we use percent lf format specifier so now let's run the program as you can see the output is printed on the screen however instead of 12.45 it shows 12.45 with multiple zeros after that this is because the double variable takes six digits after decimal points so it fills the remaining decimal places with random values if we want to avoid those random values we can print output only up to two decimal point all we have to do is to add 0.2 after the percentage. Now let me run this code. As you can see, only two digits after the decimal point is printed. And we can also use the float data type in the same way. So I'll write float number one equals to 10.9 F. And I'll print this print f bracket inside quotation percent f comma number one here i have added a float variable with value 10.9 and to indicate it's a float value rather than a double value i have added f at the end of the number here f is not a text it's just the syntax we use in c for float numbers 
and percent %f is the format specifier we use for the float variables. Now let me run this code. As you can see, our output is bit messy, so I'll use backslash n here to make our output much more readable. Let's run this again. And you can see the output here. As in double, we can also remove the unwanted digits after the decimal in float as well. Let's try it. I'll add here 0.1 after the percentage and I'll run this. And as you can see, we get the desirable output. By the way, we can also use double and float to store exponential numbers. Let me give you an example. First, I will clean up my editor. Now let me store an exponential number, double number equals to 5.5 exponential 6. Here 5.5 e6 is equals to 5.5 into 10 to the power 6. Let me print this number to verify this. Now let me run this code. As we can see this number is indeed equals to 5.5 into 10 to the power 6. Here is a tip for you, even though both float and double can be used for floating point numbers, we suggest you to use double simply because double can store decimal parts with more precision for larger numbers. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Now let's talk about character type data. We use the char keyword to represent character type data and to print them we use percent %c format specifier. Let me give you an example. Here character is a char variable and I have assigned z to this character variable and notice we have used this single quotes for character data. And also notice I have used percent %c format specifier for the char variable. When I run the code, I'll get the character z as an output. Technically speaking, a character data is internally stored as an integer rather than the character itself. So if we use percent %d to print a char variable, we can see its equivalent integer value. So I'll go back to my code editor. Now I'll print its integer value. Print f bracket inside quotation. I'll use percent %d because we want to print the integer value. Now I'll run this code and we can see 122 is printed if we use percent %d. So when working with character, we need to remember just three things. One, we use single quotation for characters. Second, to print a character, we use percent %c format specifier. And third, characters are internally stored as integers. Before we end this video, let's talk about the size of operator which can be used to find the size of data types such as int, double, float and char using the size of operator. Let me give you an example. Here I have used size of operator to find the size of int and double variable. It gives the size in bytes. Let me run this program. As you can see the size of int is 4 bytes and the size of double is 8 bytes. By the way, as you see, we have mentioned it already here, the size of int is 4 bytes and the size of double is 8 bytes and the size of float is 4 bytes. Similarly, the size of char is 1 byte. In this video, we have covered 4 commonly used data types. There are many other data types in C programming, which we will cover as we progress through the course. And if you want to revise this concept, you can find all the programs in our GitHub repository. The link is in the video description below. See you in the next video. Happy programming.